Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at CES 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, we are at the Qualcomm booth. And I'm here with uh, I'm here with uh, Sanjeev, who's uh, one of the engineers um, at Qualcomm, based in San Diego. And we're looking here at two videos. Okay, I'm just going to show do a quick span out. We got a uh, Snapdragon 800 processing uh, 4K video over a traditional LTE signal, and then over here we have a Snapdragon 800 processing L uh, 4K video over LTE Advanced, or Carrier Aggregation as the uh, the industry insiders call it. And so Sanjeev, share with us a little bit of the background here. I'm going to zoom in and stuff so we can see the particulars, because the untrained eye, initially, you don't see this. So this is uh, basically a video recording um, based on approximately, what, 7.5 megabits per second? That's right, yeah. yeah. On, on this video, we're using 7.5 megabits per second average bitrate to reflect what a consumer might see in a, an actual LTE network. Right. Because the speeds could go up as high as 150 megabits per sure. second. Sure. But this is more representative of what they'll get. Right. And so with a single channel uh, LTE case, uh, with 7.5 megabits per second, you can see a fair amount of pixelation right. in this and 4K video. And let me interject here real quick. In case, I don't know if you folks can see it here on the camera. We're trying, but you have some reflectance here from the ambient light and whatnot. But there is pixelation here as I point this towards uh, the water uh, in the sky. So you see a little bit of pixelation, a little bit of artifacting. Once you pay attention to it, it's very noticeable uh, to the naked eye. And so that's what we got going with with this, um, and and this is what we could expect today in a in a traditional use case scenario for somebody processing uh, 4K video over today's LTE signals here in the U.S. Correct. Okay. I think it's it's more a question of what rate the content provider uh, encodes the video at. Sure, so sure. In this case, it's seven and a half megabits. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to come over here to the Qualcomm Snapdragon using LTE Advanced, and. Um, this one uh, processing video over uh, throughput of what, uh, 15 megabits per That's second? That's correct, yes. Yep. So, over here, what we're showing is uh, LTE carrier aggregation, which allows you to accumulate or aggregate two channels together to provide a, a, a larger composite pipe. And right. so, in this case, since you're aggregating two 10 megahertz channels, the pick rate is twice that uh, as on, pre on, on just vanilla right. LTE. So, it's about 15 megabits per second average right. uh, pick rate. And so there's still a little bit of pixelation, but nothing near what we saw um, on, on the previous monitor over there, which is pretty impressive. I mean, a wireless signal, and then it just begs the question about how much bandwidth do you really need to reliably uh, handle 4K video? Because um, I, you know, I think we're starting to look at a situation here where the carriers and Qualcomm are going to start getting challenged, where it's going to be harder to keep up with the demand for rich content like this. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're very much about rich content and fatter pipes. Uh, we, we reflect that on our modems as well as on our apps and multimedia subsystems uh, to keep them not only capable feature-wise but also performing uh, the, the best amongst our uh, competition. Right. And so, so with, with the fatter pipes, you know, you can imagine that two times carrier aggregation goes to 40 megahertz. Uh, uh, yeah, so two times 20 megahertz as opposed to two times 10 as we're seeing here. We made a recent announcement about a product we will launch uh, that will enable that. Right. So, uh, you know, depending upon what operators and content providers want to do, uh, all comes here to provide technology solutions uh, in our chipsets. Great. Well, that's good stuff. I really appreciate it, Sanjeev. Uh, thanks for the insight and in, in, in letting us see uh, this in kind of a practical use scenario. I mean, we don't have phones yet that can display a 4K video, um, but it's nice to know that um, it looks like the throughput and the bandwidth is going to be there by the time our phones finally catch up with these uh, TVs that are here. And, and what we're using are our Sony uh, Bravia TVs. They were on display yesterday at Sony's event uh, here at CES. So we do have yeah. commercial handsets that right. are enabled with carrier aggregation and right. device power here. So in, in, in the use case where right. a user is streaming 4K content yeah. through their phone, to some kind of uh, front-end device that connects to the TV, right. they could still use 4K content yep. on their 4K TV. Awesome. Even though the screen on the device itself is not 4K. Gotcha. Awesome. Good stuff. Qualcomm out of San Diego, California, still leading the charge here in the chipset business and uh, uh, leading the way to make sure that uh, we don't run out of stuff to do on our gadgets. Thank you again, Sanjeev. All right, thanks a lot. Check out more about CES, Snapdragon processors, Qualcomm, and other stuff here in Las Vegas at phonearena.com. We'll check out with you later.